A very good day to you. I want to speak to you today about a mountaintop experience. Now, the first thing I want to say, you can't stay on the top of the mountain. And that's where some people get mistaken. The Lord takes you up to that mountain to refresh you, to strengthen you, to give you new revelation. Then you've got to go back down to the valley, the valley of drudgery and the day-to-day -day stress of living. You can't stay up the mountain. Now, Peter tried to build three tabernacles on the mountain, one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for Jesus. You can't do that. Okay, first the mountain, and then the ministry. The real form of your character takes place not on the mountain, sir. It takes place in the valley. That's where you get bent and twisted, <laughs> especially at home. When you have to deal with people that uh, get on your nerves and they frustrate you, that's where the fiery trials are. The mountain is just to, just to lift you up and to strengthen you and to fulfill you. But the character forming part of your life takes place in the valley. Let's go to Mark chapter 9. And I just want to read one verse, verse 2. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up on a high mountain, apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. Folks, we can't live uh, in the miraculous. We've, God has created us to do a job here on earth. I've had those experiences myself. God has been so good to me, folks. You know, on the 17th of November, 1989, I had uh, an encounter with the Lord in my farm office. Well, I realize that if I have the faith, the same type of faith that Oral Roberts had, Billy Graham had, uh, Smith Wigglesworth had, Catherine Kuhlman had, I too can be used of God. And the same thing applies to you. Then we need to get out there and do it. Faith has got feet. It's a doing word. It's not just talking. It's action. Now, after Peter, James, and John and the Lord were up on the Mount of Transfiguration, they came down. And then the action started, the work started. So we need to put into practice what God shows us in our closet. Now, if you want to really get close to God, the best place to do that is to be in your quiet time room. You need to get in your closet, close the doors, turn off the cell phone, turn off the TV, and start to discipline yourself and read this book systematically. And I can tell you now, you will have a mountaintop experience. My mountaintop experiences take place sitting in an airplane sometimes, flying for 19 hours. It's discipline. I go into that inner quiet room in my heart, in my spirit, and I spend time with the living God. Then when the plane lands, I go out, as it were, into the valley, and I preach, and I share what God's spoken to me about on the mountaintop. It's not a one-off experience. It's a lifestyle. First the mountain. Then the ministry. Then the mountain. Then the ministry. So you go up to the mountain. Jesus did that. Often they couldn't find him. Lord, the people have been waiting for you. Where have you been? I've been with my father. I've been getting a message from the Lord to give to the people. If you don't spend time with God, you have no right to tell other people about God. Okay? What is evangelism? One hungry beggar showing another hungry beggar where to find bread. That's all it is. It's spending time up the mountain. So don't think you're going to stay there forever, okay? You need to share the good news with other people. No man is an island, and there are no lone rangers in the kingdom of God. We need to get involved with other people. We need to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. And God will honor us. So first the mountain, and then the valley. Until next time, continue to put the Word of God in your heart every day and then go and share it with the world. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.